first thing that I do is like forget about my me time and I just like think about work or like stuff that I need to do for family or whatever and I've just been reminding myself that like I should always be my first priority because I will never be someone else's first priority or maybe I will be their first priority but like not in a sense of like like they won't be able to give me what I know that I need like right now I know that I need relaxation time and like no one knows me better than me so I'm going to try to go out and have like a little bit of relaxation time and I want to remind you that if you have been like super busy lately and you've just been like doing laundry or cleaning your house or like keeping up on schoolwork or work or whatever like remind yourself that you deserve to be first priority and like shirk the other stuff because like you only live one life like one time and the other things can wait if you are not able to like give yourself me time so that's what i'm reminding myself of today um my outfit today is um a little cozy top i think it's from jc penny my mom got it for me and then i'm wearing this little skirt from american eagle and uh yeah so let's head out and uh just have like a nice fun little day together What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Does it all become for granted With a wedding got grilled cheese and tomato soup literally just hearing it made me want to get it and guys look at what i got literally grilled cheese and tomato soup and it's actually so good i'm super like picky about my grilled cheese and like what i um get like with grilled cheese or tomato soup it has to be like really fresh and like really yummy and it is so i'll definitely come back and get it it doesn't really look that appetizing it just looks super orange but i promise you it's very very good um i do have oops, I do have the um, books. They are in the car. So I will show you guys those books whenever I get back in there. Um, I ended up getting a couple and I feel like you guys are really gonna like them. So once I finish like reading and eating and just like chilling for a little while, I will go and show you the books that I picked up. I am in my car and I want to show you guys the books that I picked up from Barnes & Noble. And then after this I want to go home and I want to pick out a new book. But I'm going to let you guys decide what I should read next. So you guys will have to comment below. But there's two books that I'm like really really excited to read and I can't decide. So um, I'm going to let you guys help me because I feel like I let Instagram decide what I should read next all the time on stories and I never really let you guys decide. So you guys are going to be the deciding factor. But I got two books and I actually didn't realize that 
if you're a uh, member of Barnes & Noble, you get these like stamps at the bottom of your receipt and it'll, I guess, give you rewards for like how many stamps you have earned and I've earned two stamps. It says that for every hundred dollars, I think you get a stamp and then you get like a free book or something. I'm not really sure, but, or maybe it's, you get 10 stamps for hundred dollars. I'm not really sure, but I know that I get a discount as a Barnes member, so that's like why I do it, but. The first book that I got is uh, the Lonely Hearts Book Club, and this is by Lucy Gilmore. And honestly, what drew me to this was the cover initially, and I know people say don't judge a book by its cover, but I feel like it's inevitable. Like, we literally can't. There's actually a book called Bully, and I was thinking about getting it, but I was like, I cannot read a book with a half-naked man on the front. Like, I just literally can't do it. And I do know that that author, I can't remember the name of the author, but I could tell that they're like updating their books because their third book in that series has like a different color cover. So I wonder if like the other books will be updated too. But this book looks so good. It's about um, this lady named Sloan. She lives in, um, a like small town I think and she works at a library and she doesn't really think of herself as lonely but she looks forward to that time every day when old curmudgeon Arthur McClan comes to browse the bookshelves and cheerfully insult her. So he's just like an older gentleman and I guess day like one day he doesn't end up showing up and just time passes and passes and he doesn't come in. So she um, tracks down where he lives and she finds out that he's bedridden but he's like really happy that she like came to visit him. Um, he kind of lives like a gloomy sad life so she starts this book club and I guess it's supposed to be for other lonely people and it says as it turns out everyone has a special book in their heart and a reason to get lost and eventually found within the pages um and I guess these people like find joy and friendship within one another and I just thought it was would be cute it was in the fiction section and I told you guys I want to start buying more books that I haven't heard anyone talk about like on um book talk or booktube or bookstagram like I just want to go through the shelves and like literally just pick up random books by random authors because many of you guys know that I used to read all the time as a kid like I've just always been a big reader I've never really been someone super influenced by other readers because I didn't really have anyone that I knew in my life that actually liked to read so I would just like literally go into a bookstore just like sift around and like see if there's anything that caught my eye and it was really exciting to do that today because I haven't done that in a while I feel like a lot of the books that I've been reading are books that people have recommended to me so I'm excited to read this one I will say that I looked on Goodreads for the review like to see if it was a high or low review because it is kind of scary going into a book completely blind because like you spend so much money on books that you like want it to be a good one you know so that's the first one and then the second book that I got is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson and this is the author of Monday's Not Here I think that's what it's called or yeah Monday's Not Coming or something like that I actually own that book I have not read it yet and I literally need to um but it says when legendary R&B artist Corey Fields spots Enchanted Jones at an audition her dreams of becoming a famous singer take flight until Enchanted wakes up with blood on her hands and zero memory of the previous night who killed Corey Fields and it says that Angie Thompson thought this book was remarkable and there's like tons of other authors on the back who thought this was a great book. This is from the young adult section, but I have just heard really good things about this book. Um, I've seen it recommended before and I love a book that has just like a black woman on the cover just cause like when I'm reading it, you know, people be like, you know, what are you reading? I'm like, oh, I'm reading Grown. Like, I don't know, I don't know. There's just something about it I just like really like. So yeah, those are the two books that I got, but let's head home. Um, I think I might take Bane like on a little walk or like go outside for a picnic and like read some more because I am still um, reading the final offer, but I want to uh, maybe hang outside for a little bit and I have an Amazon package that just got to the house, so I'll probably open that and then I want you guys to help me pick out which book to read next because before long, I'm gonna be done with this book before the next vlog, obviously, and I want you guys to help me decide because I feel like you guys are gonna be a good little tiebreaker. <laughs> I think I want to go read out by the dock whenever I open up this box and get you guys' opinion on what I should um, read next. 
The two books I'm thinking about, well, I guess I'll just show you whenever I um, go out there. But this is a very random Amazon package and I've talked about my period a lot in the past and you guys have given me so many recommendations. So I finally decided to take the plunge and get a menstrual cup. And I've never used one before. It says wear up to 12 hours. This one is with uh, salt. And I noticed that whenever I was wearing like tampons, it was just kind of like, I don't know, it was getting more cramping. And so many of you guys said that that is very typical with tampons and that like we don't even really know how they like affect our body and how some of them have bleach in them. So I just figured I would try something new. Um, I'm very, 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 very nervous about this, but um, I'm gonna try it today. And I guess you just put this little thing um, in your body and hope that it holds the blood. The only thing I'm nervous about is it like just leaking. I would literally die it did that but I mean it's not like tampons don't leak so I keep telling myself like if it leaks it's not the end of the world because tampons leak too and you know it is what it is it comes with this little package thing I think that you can like carry with you places I guess um, and then there's also instructions in here and how to clean um, so yeah I will let you guys know how I like that I've never used it before so I'm very nervous to try it but so to try something new and I also picked up these um, this underwear that I thought would be good because I have um, that little thing and this underwear like catches blood I think it's called underwear that absorbs your period and it I didn't realize that this was the lightest one. Oh my god of course it is but I really just wanted to um, have something that can kind of catch that because just in case it like tips over or whatever I don't really know how it works just in case it like doesn't work for me I don't want to just like bleed everywhere and obviously I'm going to try it in the house first like a couple times before I like go anywhere um, but I'm hoping that it will be a good option for me and this underwear is also this is from thinks i thought about getting something from nyx because i've heard a lot of good things about nyx but um i just bought from here instead and one of my friends has like a code for nyx i think so i was trying to get her code but yeah they also only had larges so i picked up a large one or over the in underwear this honestly is just going haywire this whole like little haul and i also picked up these sammy coos elderberry immune support gummies they have vitamin C and zinc in them. They taste really good um, and we always keep stocked up on these. They honestly just taste like you're taking like candy in the morning. But um, elderberry is really good for your body so we always make sure to have these. I actually have like two other ones in there but one's almost gone and so usually when one's almost gone I'll just like buy a couple more. As we go through them fast, we're just supposed to take two a day, and there's me and Brady, two of us, so that's really four a day, so these just go fast. So yeah, that's the little haul, Amazon haul, super random, but let's go outside and hopefully enjoy the sun before it goes away. Um, it's going down right now, but it hasn't completely gone down yet, and I really want to get some sun, maybe take some pictures outside at the dock, so let's head outside. Come around, don't I? And I know sometimes I'm bringing you down But I always make you smile, don't I? Mm -hmm. We're like the waves on a big blue storm you see But still you're the one who brings out the best in me summer to come and it's literally not here it is not like super warm out right now but I just want to wear shorts so bad so I'm wearing shorts and I had on this little like swimsuit type top because I just thought it would be I don't know give like summer vibes but it is literally cold I think I thought it would be warmer because it said 54 degrees earlier and 
Um, it is, but by the water, I always forget that it's a little bit chillier than whenever it's just like um, regular, like like at the park or something. Also, I don't know if I've shown you our dock, but they are almost finished with it. You can see um, the like metal pieces out there and the lift and stuff is up. They just have to get like the rest of the roofing on. So the full roof is done. They just have to get like the actual like um, black tar or whatever that stuff is on top. So it's almost done, which is exciting. But I'm gonna sit out here and read for a bit uh, because it's just so nice and I definitely want to get out here like every day this summer. I feel like I take it for granted that we literally live out here by the water and can like hear the birds and stuff every day. I don't want to take it for granted this summer. I need your help to figure out what I should read. I'm thinking that I'm gonna read two different books. Um, well, there's two different options. I'm gonna read both of them at some point. I just don't know which one. So let me know what you guys think. Let me show you guys the books that I'm thinking about. These are in two different genres. Also, let me know what you guys are thinking of the bookshelf. Um, there is a light that comes on here, but I don't really need it, I guess, because we're not gonna be in here for long. But the first book I'm thinking about reading is The Housemaid, because I've been on a thriller kick, and so many people have said this is really good. So that's the first pick. And the second pick is Magnolia Parks. So many people have said this is good, and I really want to buddy read this with Taylor, um, just because I feel like it would be fun to read it with a friend. So once I finish um, the last book in the Dreamland Billionaire series, I need to figure out which book should come next. So comment below which one you guys think that I should read, whether it should be The Housemaid or Magnolia Parks. Both are good and I'm definitely gonna read both at some point. I just don't know which one should be like the immediate next. So comment below and let me know which you guys think I should read. If you guys enjoyed this video, I feel like um, book videos are my favorite and like chatty videos and stuff and sometimes I just get like so, I don't know, just like caught up in the day to day like busyness of each day that I forget about just like actually relaxing and like why it's so important. And I feel like so often I will put literally everything in front of my own like joy and I don't want to do that. So days like today remind me that like my, um, relaxation is important, my um, well-being is important, and I don't like take enough time to just like fully relax. So if you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. The sun is setting, so I think I'm going to watch it. You guys can see it's just like coming in, it's so pretty. Um, I'm just gonna watch it set from inside. Brady's bring home dinner. Um, we're just gonna relax and be able to enjoy it together. So I'll see you guys on Saturday in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.